Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today in this session, we are going to discuss different types of knowledge under knowledge representation of AI. So basically, we have eight types of knowledge that includes declarative knowledge, procedural knowledge, semantic knowledge, episodic knowledge, meta knowledge, heuristic knowledge, common sense knowledge and domain specific knowledge. So these eight types of knowledge are very important. So in this session, we, are, uh, we will discuss all these types in detail with uh, real life examples and I will also share with you the comparison between all of them. Correct. So let's start the session. So at first we have declarative knowledge. So students, declarative knowledge is nothing but it is an essential part of AI because it allows machines to store and recall important facts. This is the key function of declarative knowledge that it allows AI machines to store and recall some important facts. AI systems use these knowledge to answer questions, recognize the objects and make informed decisions. However, to take any action, AI also needs procedural knowledge as well. Clear? So as you can see here, declarative knowledge includes facts and information. For example, Paris is the capital of France. Let's say I'm saying New Delhi is the capital of India. So this is what? This is information that I am sharing with you. This is a fact that we all know, right? That is called your declarative knowledge. It represents what is unknown rather than how to do something. This particular thing is very, very important. Always remember a keyword that declarative knowledge always related to knowing what. It is always related to knowing what. This is factual knowledge about some things, about concepts, about the relationship between some events or nodes, anything, right? It answers what is this or what do we know about it? It always uses a what in it. Clear everyone? For example, AI in a weather checking application knows the rain occurs when clouds became heavy with water droplets, right? So here AI stores this kind of knowledge in database and uses it to answer the questions. Basically, this type of knowledge is often stored in structured formats like databases, ontologies, and knowledge graphs. So this particular statement is also very, very important. Now let's just discuss some characteristics of declarative knowledge in AI. So its first characteristic include, it is a fact-based system. It is a fact-based knowledge. That means it contains information that AI can recall. In the first statement, I have already shared with you it is essential for AI because it allows machines to store and recall important facts. That's why we call it fact-based knowledge. Another is static. So it does not change unless updated. So its rules, its information, its knowledge is always static. That is fixed. Another is easy stored. AI stores it in databases, knowledge graphs, or rule-based systems. Another option is answer-oriented. AI uses it to answer what is. I have told you it always gives us an answer related to what. What happened? What is? Uh, what is the time? What is the capital of India? Such type of questions if we have then declarative knowledge is used in AI. Now let's move to the another knowledge that is your procedural knowledge. So students, procedural knowledge includes steps or instructions to do something. It focuses on how to ride a bike. Procedure, right? Procedural knowledge always focuses on how. How to ride a bike, how to cook food, how to uh, ride a horse. All these are taken under procedural knowledge. This is knowledge about how to do things step by step. It is a procedure that helps us to know how to do things step by 
steps. It answers, how do we do this? For example, a self-driving car knows how to detect a stop sign, apply brakes and turn safety and turn safely based on a set of instructions. All these are taken under procedural knowledge of representation in AI. Knowledge representation in AI. All clear everyone? Any AI system that uses procedural knowledge are basically uh, used in automation, robotics, decision making etc. Now let's just discuss its characteristics. So first characteristic is step by step instructions. So AI follows a sequence of actions like I have told you step by step instructions of how to ride a bike, step by step instruction of how to cook food, step by step instruction of how to start your laptop, right? Next we have is, uh, next characteristic we have is dynamic. Dynamic, uh, last one was your static, it is dynamic. It can change based on new experiences or learnings. It is harder to explain because it's about execution, not just facts. And another characteristic is used in decision making and automation. As of now, we have discussed declarative and procedural knowledge. Now let's just compare these two. If we talk about the meaning, declarative says knowing what something is. What is the capital of India? What is the brand of your laptop? What is your age? All these are taken under your declarative knowledge. Procedural knowledge, knowing how to do something. How are you? How to start a bike? How to start your laptop? How to run uh, any organization? All these are taken under procedural knowledge. For example, the sun is a star. This is a fact that we can easily recall. That is a declarative knowledge. How to ride a bicycle, right? Use in AI. Why and how we use declarative knowledge in AI? Answering factual questions. If we have any factual question and we want AI, uh, any AI software to answer these questions, then you must know declarative knowledge is used there. Performing tasks or solving problems like auto driving cars we have. Those uses procedural knowledge. Next we have a storage related uh, comparison. So it's stored as facts, rules and statements. Stored as algorithms, workflows or steps. Clear everyone? So these are four major differences between declarative and procedural knowledge and one more difference you can add here is a procedural is dynamic and declarative is static. Now we have another knowledge type is semantic knowledge. So semantic knowledge is nothing but it is general knowledge about the world like meaning of words, common facts for example cats are animals. Dogs are animals. Parrots are taken under the category of birds. These are journal knowledge. Right? This is knowledge about common facts, concepts and meanings that are widely accepted. This term is very very important. Widely accepted. Clear? It helps AI understand words, phrases and contexts. For example, in a chatbot, in AI, a chatbot understands the apple, uh, understands that apple means a fruit. And tech company, uh, as a, in the form of tech company, apple is a brand, right? If we uh, say AI to show me, uh, to tell me all about apple. So, here we have here may be, uh, we have two uh, results. One for apple means fruit and another for apple company. Right? So AI in a chatbot understands that apple can mean a fruit or a tech company depending on the sentence. Right? Another point that you should note is AI systems use uh, semantic knowledge to process natural language to process natural language answer journal questions and recognize the objects like here apple is an object 
इफ आई से वट इज दलर ऑफ एप्पल सो हमारा सिस्टम समझ जाएगा कि ये फ्रूट के रिगार्ड में पूछ रहे हैं वट आर दी बेनिफिट ऑफ ईटिंग एप्पल तो वो समझ आएगा कि हम फ्रूट के रिगार्ड में पॉइंट को पूछ रहे हैं इफ आई से वट इज दाइस ऑफ एप्पल लेटेस्ट वर्जन देन डेफिनेटली हमारा सिस्टम समझ जाएगा कि आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आई एम आस्किंग अबाउट एप्पल आई फोन मीन्स एप्पल फोन राइट सो इट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन दी सेंटेंस दैट आई हैव रिटर्न इन ए आई टू गेट दी नॉलेज बेसिकली सीमेंटिक नॉलेज इज नथिंग बट इट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट फैक्ट और मीनिंग दैट आर वाइडली एक्सेप्टेड इन दिस वर्ल्ड some characteristics of semantic knowledge includes it is concept based it is contextual that means ai considers the context of words or objects contextual means i am repeating the example here apple if i say what is the uh, what are the benefits of eating apple every day in the morning to wo ek context ko samajh jayega us according result dega that's why it is contextual if i say What is the price of latest version of Apple phone? So वो मुझे उस according result देगा तो सिर्फ एक Apple word से वो information नहीं दी जा सकती Contextual based result semantic knowledge हमें देता है Next is relationship driven. AI links related concepts like dog is related to animal and pet. Used in natural language processing and computer vision. All right everyone. So here we have discussed. most importantly four types of uh, uh, knowledge okay we have only we have discussed only three uh, right now okay next we have is episodic knowledge so students episodic knowledge is nothing but it is a memory based knowledge right this is knowledge based on past experiences it is a knowledge based on past experiences or specific event that ai can recall when needed also we can say it helps ai learn from past interactions to improve the responses and make better decisions let's take an example first a virtual assistant like siri and alexa we all uh, must have heard about these a virtual assistant like siri or alexa remembers your favorite songs and suggests them based on your past choices right so all these are done with the help of episodic knowledge under knowledge representation of ai ai systems use episodic knowledge in personalization recommendation systems and adaptive learning so these all these points are uh, really very very important related to your episodic knowledge now let's just talk about its characteristics so its first characteristic include first characteristic include it is experience based we have discussed that ai learns from previous interactions and events another characteristic is time dependent it remembers when and where an event happened third is your personalized ai adapts based on users past preferences that is it's personalized it gives results as per your uh, previous searches right and fourth characteristic can be here it is continuously updated ai modifies its knowledge based on new experiences for example some i am sharing some examples of episodic memory like uh, chatbots and virtual assistants like siri alexa google assistant if you ask remind me to call mom every sunday ai remembers and reminds you right another example can be recommendation system like youtube amazon netflix etc ai remembers your watch history and recommends shows based on your past preferences another example can be self driving cars AI learns from past driving experiences to improve the navigation. 
आप डेली किसी रूट से अगर ट्रेवल करते हो ऑटोमेटिक कार के थ्रू तो आपका सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार जो है उस रूट को याद रख लेगा कि डेली अगर आप सुबह नौ बजे निकल रहे हो तो यू आर टू गोइंग यू आर गोइंग टू योर ऑफिस सो वो पास्ट एक्सपीरियंसेस से आपके रूट को ऑटोमेटिकली याद रख लेगा अनदर कैन बी योर हेल्थ केयर ए आई अनदर कैन बी गेमिंग ए आई जस्ट लाइक चेस स्ट्रेटेजी गेम्स ए आई ऑपोनेट्स ऑल दीज आर टेकन अंडर योर एपिसोडिक नॉलेज ऑफ ए आई I hope students everything is clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can definitely uh, share with me in the comment section. And if you want me to continue the series, then surely share your feedback. So this was your part one, where we have discussed four types of knowledge. Remaining four types will be discussed in the next class. Link will be added in the description box. So thank you so much, and all the very best.